turned in a great track record mile in 157 and 2 this evening. And Ellie, how about those fractions in that final time? Well, the final time, Dave, is a track record, but also an age trotting horse world record on a half mile track. And it's really funny because Nearly Perfect was the horse that really didn't like the half mile track. They say a good horse can race over anything, including broken bottles. This one got right to the front, never looked back, and Mickey McNichol guided Nearly Perfect to the track record here this evening. As you can see, they're getting ready for the hardware presentations out there, but a lot of action on the track uh, just earlier. Let's take a look at the replay. And Alan Kirschenbaum, what's going on over there in the winner's circle? Well, we've got Mickey McNichol over here in the winner's circle. Mickey won a Breeders' Crown last year with Jeff Spice, but I'm sure with this horse from his own stable, it's got to be a little more satisfying. That it is, Alan. Thank you. Nearly perfect, a very fast horse. Some people say that racing on a half mile track decided by the post position draw. We'll go right to the replay here. Mickey, did you know your horse could get out of there faster than any of them? Well, I kind of like the, uh, it, it's a, a half mile, but the turns are kind of big and I kind of thought he'd get to the front pretty quick. And uh, if somebody got there quick enough to beat me to the front, I would have let him go. But uh, the way the race formed, uh, I just went to the front and stayed there. You've had a lot of good trotters for Jack Landis. You had two in the race here today. Jack Landis, of course, the proprietor of the Sunbird Stable. You had Why Not and Nearly Perfect. You've had another miracle. You've had Jazz Cosmos. How does Nearly Perfect shape up in that bunch? He is, uh, he is my favorite. Him and Jazz, probably about equal. But this horse has overcome a lot of physical difficulties and a lot of... Uh, uh, you know, problems along the way, and uh, I, I really like the horse above and beyond everything else he does. You had nearly perfect in front the whole way. Did you ever think you could have lost this race? Not really, no. No, uh, Stanley's horse, Pig Bar, went a very good trip. He was outside of me most of the mile, but uh, things were well in hand, I think, as you can see through the stretch. And Manfred, I guess, just didn't fire his first thought. What's next for nearly perfect? Uh, maybe stud duty. Maybe back to the races next year. It's kind of up in the air right now. Will he race again this year? Uh, I don't know. Now, one last thing you have to say, Mickey. Hi, Melissa. Mickey McNichol wins the Breeders' Crown with Nearly Perfect. Back to you, Dave. And let's see what you win if you played the entry across the board. It was Nearly Perfect coupled with Why Not? And the number one entry pays 360, 260, and 220. Pig Var, 320 and 240, and Manfred Hanover third at $2.40. And Ellie, let's start with Manfred Hanover in our wrap-up. Now with this race under his belt, can he be a factor for the rest of the year? Well, I think he could be. He may need another start or two. Dealing with this caliber horses, he's going to have to race against open trotters, so he may need one more start under his belt. And what about Pigvar? That was a giant mile against a track record on an the outside the whole trip. An incredible mile. He was parked uh, probably past the 5 8 pole and ducked in because Master Willie made a break and still hung on for a very tough second. And the winner? The winner went an unbelievable mile. Mickey just went to the front and never looked back and did an excellent job. So, uh, as they say, from flag fall to that's all, the wire-to-wire -wire victory this evening for Nearly Perfect. And we've had a ball bringing it to you. The official order of finish from top to bottom, Nearly Perfect in 157 and change. Pigvar, followed by Manfred Hanover, Jacinto, Mark Six, Why Not, Megatrend, and Master Willie. It was 157 and 2 was the final time there. Aged horse and geldings on the trot. And the winner's circle ceremony just about complete out there. And the big smile on Mickey McNichol, who's had some real nice horses, but he has to really think about this one as one of his best. I believe that's Stan Bergstein, the uh, executive director of the Harness Tracks of America, making the trophy presentation in the winner's circle. Well, what do you think, uh, Ellie? Uh, where, where are we going to see this horse show up next? Well, I, I don't think Mickey McNichol knows himself right now. I believe Alan asked him in the winner's circle. Uh, I believe they're hoping to have him at stud duties. I don't know if they're going to take the entry also. Why not back to stud duties? But I guess it's a decision that they're all going to have to make. I don't think there's any more major stake races for him. To, I think the Breeders' Crown is it. Once again, the prices for this evening's edition of the Breeders' Crown, 360, 260, and 220 for the entry of Nearly Perfect and Why Not. With Pigvar coming in second, it's 320 and 240, and Manfred Hanover third at $2.40. Louisville Downs was the site.
of this evening's Breeders' Crown Stock. Be sure to be with us two weeks from tonight when we travel west to Los Alamitos in California for the aged horse and gelding pace. Please note that our airtime will be live at 12 midnight Eastern time. That'll be 9 p.m. Pacific time.